Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now I want to dive into something I'm incredibly passionate about, which is seeing the world. This world, you need to see it. If you have not seen it, you're missing out. Okay. And I'm hoping this video will inspire you. I'm hoping this video will kickstart your belief that it's possible to travel and see the world whilst working, whilst working a full time job. Okay. I really do believe that traveling is one of the most valuable investments you can ever make for your soul, for your mental health, for your general health, <laughs> your perspective, your twenties, your thirties. I honestly believe are the perfect time to tap into this way of life traveling and i'm going to try in this video to show you ways you can travel whilst being employed full time yes it's very possible i do it and i'm sure if you want to as long as you really want to you can make it happen too so let's get into it I've put together these tips and these strategies for you, for those who want to explore the world, even whilst balancing a nine to five job. Going straight into it, the number one thing I would recommend you think about doing or consider doing is reducing the things you own and the things you commit to. The first thing to really think about is what ties you down, okay? This includes material things, this includes financial commitments, things like rent, things like like anything on finance on credit just decluttering your world is going to be the starting point because when opportunities come for you to jet off and go you don't have to think too much okay which is why when you own less you are more flexible to move when you want to and it just also frees up your income for experiences rather than stuff number two is renting out renting out rooms spare rooms or renting out furnished apartments again going back to just you not being tied down okay if you are somebody that values a solid space a solid place that you call home an idea could be for you to rent out a house or a flat that has more bedrooms than you need for your personal space okay so more than one or perhaps more than two so the extra rooms you let them out you sublet them so that this way you have a base you have a home but these tenants are essentially covering the rent and your bill so your income is purely for enjoyment <laughs> Um, it's a win-win situation because you get to travel, you get to keep a base, but also you don't have to worry about covering that rent, covering those expenses that come with owning or living in a place. You don't have the expenses of figuring out what to do when you decide to up and go with these things or hiring a removal company or, you know, trying to sell these things. You're just not tied down. Okay. You get to travel and have the comfort of knowing that you have a place to come back to if you are going to do the subletting route or um, renting out a room which is significantly less another way which is third on my list of how to travel whilst you are working is i mean this is technical and you're not technically working but whilst job hunting kind of ties back to you being the positions and what bogs you down that's why it's number one okay the less you have the easier it is for you to pack up shop and go traveling whilst you're interviewing whilst you're looking for a job now being in between jobs can be very stressful it can be very demoralizing but you can see the other side which is a perfect opportunity for you to take advantage of living abroad i've said this on my channel so many times i just don't believe anymore in doing one week there two weeks there i want to immerse myself in the country I visit I want to be there for a minimum of three to four weeks that way I can just be as a local and take in that moment in time and truly 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 enjoy the country I'm in not have a packed out itinerary just so that I can tick off things but really I'm not living the moment right and living abroad whilst interviewing your energy is up you are vibrant listen you're going to do much better in that interview I know so many people that have just said I'm out of here whilst I'm interviewing whilst I'm looking for jobs I'm going to Timbuktu so why not that be you okay why not travel whilst you're in between jobs if you're so unhappy in with your job for example this is what you could do most people's fear to 
leaving a job they hate is what am I going to do for money? What am I going to do with all these bills, all these expenses? Why don't you look into a country that has a lower cost of living? Okay. And you can be out there whilst looking for a job or even finding a remote job or a local job that meets up with your lifestyle and your living costs whilst you've got some income with a stronger currency. Many countries are offering cheaper lifestyle, but richer lifestyle. So you can stretch your savings. You can stretch your income whilst job hunting. As I said, this really links back to you owning less and having things that are tying you down so you can be more mobile. The fourth thing on my list is reducing the things that tie you to one location. For example, things like long-term leases, subscriptions that you do not need, cut them, cut them off. Okay. It will give you freedom to move around and to pull back when you need to. Like I said earlier, consider properties that offer fully furnished apartments. It's a great way to save moving in costs and moving out costs. And you don't have to worry about what's going to happen to the things in the property. And also the moving in initial costs is much less because you don't have to purchase beds, wardrobes, tables, sofas. Those things are expensive. It's not just your rent when you're moving in. It's also the cost of buying furniture for a new place that you need to factor in when you're moving plus the deposit that you most likely will get back in for. The fifth thing here on this list is pay attention to your company's policy or the job you're applying to find out what is their working abroad policy a lot of companies have checked into the fact that people want freedom people want to live life and be happy and employers have accepted that people's lives are not centered around a job okay and so they are offering a lot of companies are offering and advertising to tell you that we can say work from abroad work remotely and for this many days some will say 12 days a year some will say four weeks a year there's different policies but get to know them more and more companies are now making this benefit that they advertise heavily this can be a game changer if you want to travel but you want to stay employed at the same time and this nicely leads me into my sixth point which is a company that has this policy it means you can stack okay stack holidays stack annual leave and stack working from abroad days so that you get more essentially so you see on in social media people sh showing you how you can book holidays in certain days of the year and stretch it out so actually instead of 30 days which is a typical offering amount of annual leave you can stretch it to 52 or even more days a year if you have a 10-day trip for example some of that that could be a bank holiday in the country that you originate from some of that could be annual leave so a mixture of bank holidays remote days and annual leave this way you can stretch a 10-day trip into a much longer adventure while saving your vacation days this is the thing there's a lot of instagram posts a lot of social media posts that show you how to book annual leave around certain bank holidays stack it up with remote working and stack it up with annual leave it ends up being two three days in the week that you're actually utilizing your annual leave days but you are in a different place in a different environment it does a lot to your mindset it does a lot to your mental health so yeah that's pretty much it guys a nice short sweet one for you guys if you're looking to travel the world whilst holding down your job it isn't a dream it is very possible with the right mindset and a bit of planning and intentionality i hope these tips have been helpful and at least giving you food for thought that instead of waiting for some day for you to have this large amount of money before you can travel you can do do it now you can be dora the explorer now let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or if you have anything you want to contribute if i've missed out anything let me know in the comment section as always remember to be kind in these comment section be kind until next time stay safe and um yeah bye